need to know who you are. The lost ten tribes today are now amongst Western nations. There were twelve tribes of Israel. These twelve tribes of Israel split into two different sections. The southern section, the minority section, became the present-day Jewish people. The majority of the Israelites were taken away by the Assyrians and uh, they lost consciousness of their ancestry and this was part of the plan of divine providence. He had his own reasons for doing this. In the future they will know who they are and they will return and reunite with Judah and we are approaching that time and uh, there are reasons for the lost ten tribes now to know who they are, to be made aware of who they are and that is what we are trying to do and we do this in various ways including biblical proofs proofs from rabbinical sources, spreading the knowledge and also proofs from secular sources. So we also managed to bring these uh, different sources to show how they dovetail with each other. They all point in the same direction. So one of the tribes of Israel was the tribe of Dan. The tribe of Dan was a, a prominent tribe amongst the tribes of Israel. And we find evidence uh, to the pointing in the direction that a section from the tribe of Dan came to Ireland and to other places in the British Isles and uh, that region and their descendants are now to be found amongst peoples in those areas or the offshoots in Australia, in New Zealand and in the USA and Canada. According to Irish legends, amongst the peoples who came to Ireland were the Tuatha de Danann the two of the Dananan mean, have a name meaning uh, the, the uh, tribe or the people of Dana. Dana is another way in Hebrew of saying Dan. Dan, the tribe of Dan. The two of the Dana or the people of Dana were originally referred to as the two of the da, meaning the tribe of God. But later in uh, translations of the Bible, into Gaelic and in religious writings this expression was used for the Jewish people or for the people of Israel, of Israel. so therefore chroniclers in order to avoid the confusion or misunderstanding began to to uh, to be strict about uh, using the term Tutha de Dana for them it may be that there were actually two sections, two segments amongst these people. One were the Jewish and the other was from Dan. At all events, uh, that is uh, a, a separate study, but it's worth noting. And uh, we have, we have uh, the fact that the Tutha de Dana, the Dana was associated with clouds and with darkness in rabbinical writings in the Talmud, the Midrashim, one out of the three places to which the lost ten tribes were exiled was known as the clouds of darkness, or the, hill, the mountains of darkness, the clouds of darkness. It was uh, one of the three areas, and the, 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 the Dana were also associated with darkness and with clouds. It also, Midrash says that the tribe of Dan was in the north where darkness comes from. And the two of the, Dan, the Dana were also associated with darkness. They, When they came from, uh, from the north and they and they entered Ireland and they fought battles. first battle was against the people known as the Bog, the Fear Bog, uh, and uh, Bog, and they defeated them, and they gave them the area of Canaut in the west of Ireland. The later we find uh, these uh, people also in other areas of Ireland, and uh, they took the rest of the land. Uh, after that they fought a war against the Fomorians, and they subdued them, and uh, and uh, ruled in the, in the area whilst they intermixed with the Fomorians. The Fomorians were also, according to most authorities from Scandinavia, as the Tooth of Dedana were, probably were. Uh, the Fomorians were, from, as I said, from Scandinavia. There are opinions that they were actually descendants of Han and they came from North Africa. So that is a, a separate uh, subject. After these two battles, after these two battles, they, they fought a, a third battle, a, th a third uh, decisive uh, battle against another group who uh, were invaded from the area of Spain or from uh, southern, uh, southern France. They were known as the Milesians. They were associated with Neil or Goddell. They were the Gaels. 
and they were defeated. After that, they, um, according to some, they may have gone to the Isle of Britain. We also find the remnants of them in the county of Mayo, in the west of Ireland, and also they may be identified with another group known as the Domnu, who uh, dwelt in the east of Ireland, in the area of what is now Dublin. Uh, later, this region uh, around Dublin was uh, in Leinster, in the east of Ireland, was conquered by the Vikings from Denmark, the Danes, who also came from Dan, and they ruled over that area. And if so, it would fit in with what we know fr from other cases and similar parallel cases where it often happens where a group from one tribe come to an area and uh, another group from the same tribe later come in and uh, dwell there alongside them. As if uh, by instinct they home in and we coalesce with each other. And they don't know. We also find uh, people by the same name in uh, southwest Britain where they are also known uh, where the area was also known as Danonia we, too, we have the, this root Dan in their name, and also in Scotland. Uh, so that is what we know about them, or what happened to them. The, according to different legends, before they came to Ireland, they were in the north in, in different islands. One of these islands was known as Assal. Assal was also a name in the, the, close to what is now Armenia, where part of the Lost Ten Tribes have been taken by the Assyrians. Uh, when they were exiled. Another version of uh, says that the, the Dana, before the coming to Ireland, uh, the, originally they had been in uh, what is now Lebanon, and from there they had uh, moved out. Uh, the, the account says that they came uh, via Greece and that they had fought in Greece against the Philistines. And the Philistines had, ad had adjoined the territory of Dan in, in South East Israel. Originally the Dan, the tribe of Dan had received its territory in the southeast of Israel. Uh, beside, uh, with uh, uh, bordering the Philistines, uh, the, the tribe of Dan had been in the, its uh, territory had been between the ter between the allocations to Ephraim and to Judah. And Dan was always to be associated with Judah. From there we read in uh, Joshua, the book of Joshua chapter 2, how a section of Dan uh, moved out from there and they went to the north and they conquered a country, uh, an area known as Leshem. And they settled there and renamed it Dan. That is uh, also known as Danius, uh, Banius. It's in the, the northern Galilee. Uh, uh, and uh, later, as we read in uh, Judges, the book of Judges chapters 18 and 19, another group from Dan, also left the south, they moved to the north, also to the north, they conquered a region known as Liash, and they renamed it Dan. Uh, it's often assumed that Liash and Lesham, these two accounts are referring to the same incident, to the same event, but it's not so, they're separate, uh, separate things, separate, uh, separate, separate occurrences. The, the second one, uh, as spoken of in the book of, of uh, Judges, recounts how they went to Liash, which was also known as Lars in the Syrian inscriptions. It was in the southeast uh, Turkey, northern northern Syria. And there too there's a, a segment, an, an, an entity, an enclave from Judah known as Yadi. So here too the, the uh, people from Judah and people from Dan were together. And according to Assyrian inscriptions, people from this region were uh, exiled and they were taken into exile to Armenia. Where the other members of the Lost Ten Tribes are also taken. In addition, we find that the Philistines, remember, according to legends, the, 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 the Irish accounts, the Israelite, the uh, Dana had fought against the Philistines in Greece. Uh, so, so we know that the Philistines did have Greek culture. They had uh, Menon, what is known as Menon, they came from Greece, so, uh, Crete. They were connected with with Crete. Minoan culture comes from Crete. Uh, Gaza, which was a major Philistine city, was sometimes referred to as Minoa or Minoas, named after a city of uh, a major city in Crete. Uh, and uh, and where we find in archaeological findings uh, traces of Minoan culture, it, it on can uh, be evidence of Philistine 
of Philistine presence. The Philistines also participated in what is known as Mercunian culture, which is associated with Bronze Age Greece, but is also found in the Middle East and Syria and so on, and amongst other elements, and also in the land of Israel. Uh, at all events, the Philistines were used by the Assyrians when the Assyrians conquered the Israelites. They used Philistines and Phoenicians to take Israelites in ships and to transport them across the sea to different areas in the west where they would develop mineral resources and colonize the area for the Assyrians. And the, the Philistines and the Phoenicians did this on behalf of the Assyrians. And the prophet Amos condemns them for it. He refers to the cities of Philistia. The cities of Philistia were Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines uh, that, that Amos speaks of in, in, in the first book, of, in the first chapter of the book of Amos. Where we read, beginning from chapter 6, thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza, and for four I will not revoke the punishment because they carried into exile entire communities to hand them over to Edom. So I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza. So fire that shall devour its strongholds, who cut off all the inhabitants from Ashdod, and the one who holds the scepter from Ashkelon, who will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, says the Lord God. And he goes on in verse 1, thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of time for four will not revoke the punishment, because they delivered the entire communities over to Edom, and did not remember the covenant of, of kinship. So we'll send a fire on the wall of Tyre, and the fire that shall devour strongholds. Tyre was a major Phoenician city. Both the Phoenicians were seafarers, so were the Philistines. They both had uh, vast maritime enterprises, and they both gave their ships, or their ships were used by the Assyrians to put Israelite exiles upon and to take them elsewhere. There was an exile by sea as well as overland. We find uh, we find traces or uh, or hints at this. We, uh, Geoffrey Keating in the 1517 to 1646, he understood from the traditional Irish sources that the Danans were people of great learning and wealth. They left Greece after a battle with the Assyrians. In other words, apparently the Assyrians had first uh, transported a portion of them to Greece. And they went to Ireland and also to Denmark. Denmark is named after the Dans, after the tribe of Dan. Denmark. Also an Irish historian who lived a little bit later, he says that the tools of the Danan, after sojourning for some time in Greece, proceed from thence to Denmark and Norway, after which they came to Ireland. And uh, also in the Irish sources, the tribe of Danan were described as a culturally advanced, scientifically proficient, expert, metallurgist, and we find at this time in the what's so called Bronze Age in Scandinavia there were two parallel civilizations, both well advanced, at least according to their material culture, the artifacts and so on that they left behind. One of them was a Stone Age type, and the other was a Bronze Age type. They were existing side by side with each other. The Bronze Age type used types of furniture known from Egypt and artifacts and utensils and, and uh, even uh, wall drawings similar to those from the East Mediterranean, from Egypt, from Phoenicia, from Israel and from Crete and Cyprus and so on. They're, they're, in fact the Crete or Minoan influence was so strong that uh, uh, Christensen and Larson, they wrote a, a well-known book, a very important book, The Rise of Bronze Age Society by Christian Christiansen and Thomas B. Larson, 2006, and they regard Scandinavia at that time. This is an academically accept accepted work, incidentally. It is uh, well documented and well illustrated. And they regard Scandinavia at that time to be effectively a colony of the Minoans, many of the Philistines. Uh, but this doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to have been that way. It could mean anything, but it's worth taking into consideration. If it's worth knowing. It is feasible. According to archaeological findings, these points are feasibilities. And they did occur. And they were. This is the truth. This is what we are telling you. The tribe of Dan was from the tribe of Israel, as were other elements in Ireland and in the British Isles and in this region. So to turn up, putting all this, everything uh, that we have said, putting it all together, we know the, the Dana had been, according to the sources, had been in the land of Israel or regions around it with the rest of the ten tribes. 
the tribe of Dan had been spread out into several areas. They were, um, they had uh, first received their inheritance in the south, but then moved off to different area, other regions in the north. And uh, the Assyrians conquered all of them, took them all into exile into different regions. A portion of them were transferred by the Philistines. Some of them were taken to Greece and from there went to Scandinavia and from there to Ireland. Others were apparently taken directly to Scandinavia, which at that time was one of the areas the, the Assyrians used to colonize for, uh, and uh, this is all part of the Assyrian uh, economic enterprise. It may sound far-fetched, but the Assyrians had, uh, had economic reasons for doing this, for settling these, these areas, as we shall explain at another time. In all events, we should know that the, the, the uh, tribe of Dana were from the tribe of Dan, as were other groups in the region, were part of the Israelites. Their ancestors were from Israel. Their descendants are physically descended from Israelite tribes. They should know who they are, because it is important in our age that this knowledge be made known to, the pe to these people. They should know where they came from, what they are on, and uh, possibly where they are going. May the Lord God of Israel bless all of you. Thank you.